This video offers a sort of inventory of the more significant enhancements brought to version 24 AWI. We won't cover everything, given the sheer volume of technical improvements made to the web interface, especially when it comes to performance. We address all the new elements end users will discover as they start working with the V24 UI. These are pretty straightforward and so the presentation of each feature is brief. Let's outline the new features. By far the most significant development in version 24 AWI is the expansion of accessibility features. We've seen some progress made up to this point, but 24 saw a major leap forward in this area. We've improved a substantial number of features like browser zoom support and added keyboard navigation. We have new theming capabilities. We'll be able to change the theme and background colors and add custom logos, say one tailored to your company, and the head bar of the web UI. Then we've added a few items to the help menu, such as a direct access point to the Atomic Learning Portal. We've simplified filter duplication with standard submenus. Prior versions required a somewhat cumbersome save as operation. This is no longer the case. We can now rely on a basic context menu. We now have two different options for deleting folders. The first option, which is new, is the removal of all the contents that are displaced in the recycle bin. We can also move those contents to the no folder folder as it was in prior releases. We're now able to copy the name of objects for pasting to other systems like Notepad. The workflow monitor, specifically the list view, now is an agent column which is useful when supervising the execution of cross-agent workflows. We have the ability to filter on text elements in the workflow monitor and workflow editor interfaces. This is particularly useful when we're looking for a specific job in a large workflow. We have sub-objects appearing in the form of lists which used to have checkboxes. Those checkboxes have been removed. We've improved the error code of handling functions in the general page of running objects. Version 24 saw a major push toward expanding atomic automation accessibility, and this has taken center stage in the development priorities of the solution. Atomic automation has a long history of providing inclusive support for all user communities, and this particular release was an opportunity to again make good on this promise. The list of improvements is extensive, and so we'll focus on some of the most important aspects. We've increased browser zoom substantially with no loss of display quality. Keyboard navigation saw major evolutions and will have its own dedicated learning module. Users will notice improvements in things like visual focus and background color for menus and tables. Atomic Automation saw a mostly behind the scenes recoding of the interface to provide better support to assistive technologies like screen readers. Assistive technology support also means adding labels to fields, title attributes, the bypassing of images and icons, and alt text. We've also added a jump to content link, which you can access by tabbing on a fresh page, meaning no focus on any particular elements. Jump to content makes it easier for screen readers to reach the main contents of a page. You simply tab to activate it, then enter or space to set the focus on the first elements. We need to make clear that accessibility should not be a one and done initiative, but rather an ongoing process. Users will continue to see additional improvements over the next releases, which we hope will make using atomic automation even easier in the future. Let's look at the theming capabilities. We have two color uses. One, the connection color has been featured in atomic automation going back a number of releases. With version 24, you can also change the general theme of the web UI, bars, windows, and so forth. The theme color sets the color under or around the area or interactive UI element that is currently active. The selection color sets the background color of the selected UI elements. The selection text color is the color of the text of that element. AWI's default color is selected when you first install AWI. If you keep it as is, selection color and selection text color display auto-generated. This means that AWI automatically calculates and applies a variation of the default theme color to the selection and text selection colors. The preview section simply shows how it would look like if you went with that particular color combination. You can also set a custom logo, say for your company. To access these settings, head to Client Zero, Admin Perspective, expand AWI Management, and use the theming page. Note the colors can also be set in the colors.properties file under the install directory, Automation Platform, Web Interface, Config Theme. The Help menu has a couple more options, namely the link to the page listing keyboard shortcuts and the learning portal, where you can access all of Atomic's learning offers. 
We've had the ability to create custom filters for a while, but the method required a somewhat cumbersome save as procedure. From this point forward, we'll be able to right click and rely on context menus instead. If you're duplicating a standard filter, the context menu will show a simple duplicate. If you're duplicating a custom filter, then the menu shows duplicate, rename, and delete. Version 24 now includes several options for the removal of folders. In prior versions of Atomic, when a folder containing objects was deleted, those objects were automatically moved to the No Folder folder. In version 24, you're given a choice. If you would prefer to eliminate those objects and place them in the Recycle Bin folder, now you can. The Recycle Bin provides the ability to check for usage and cross-referencing of those objects and perform a restore as needed. Version 24 now allows you to copy the name of an object in the copy-paste clipboard. You can right-click any object, click Copy Name, and then paste the string elsewhere, say in Notepad or in a URL. We've added the Agent column in the List view of the Workflow Monitor. Select the Workflow Monitor on any workflow, switch to the List view, and you'll see the Agent column, which you can move closer to the task name as needed. Atomic Automation provides a filtering mechanism for the Workflow Editor and Monitor. This is useful for large workflows in which certain tasks need to be singled out. In our example, we have a number of tasks in this workflow. Some have the string Windows in the name. We set a filter on the task name, all other tasks are faded out. We've provided a list of search criteria for both the editor and the monitor. Some of the objects have sublists of other objects. A good example is the list of variable objects associated with a jobs object. Prior to version 24, these lists had checkboxes which needed to be checked for your changes to be applied to a selection. This led to a number of unexpected behaviors and could be counterintuitive at times. These checkboxes have been removed. Now you simply select more than one object with the control key. We've brought major improvements to the return code handling feature, which can be found in the general page of objects like jobs. Prior to version 24, users had to read and understand directions associated with the feature. These directions have been removed in favor of labels that are more readable and intuitive.